Rajesh, we saw earlier images of uh, State Home Minister Harsh Sangwi, who in fact reached the Ghat as well in order to take stock of uh, the administration's preparedness. What can you tell us about the arrangements that have been made in anticipation of uh, the damage which is uh, expected? Uh, see, follow me. Uh, uh, everything has been taken care by the government. The precautionary, all the precautionary steps have been taken by the government. But uh, the most important part will be uh, after the uh, landfall of the uh, cyclone. Uh, so that will impact uh, that uh, disastrous cyclone of uh, the from last 50 years. So this is the most disastrous cyclone of last 50 years. So uh, that's why uh, everyone is hoping that it should not hit the uh, uh, land of Jakho or the port of Jakho. Uh, Right now the wind is blowing heavily. Uh, Her Sangvi is in Dwarka from last uh, three days and he's uh, moving everywhere. He's trying to help the local authorities very much that they, uh, and guiding the local authorities that they, uh, they should take the every steps which is uh, possible. Uh, right now the power supply of Dwarka has been shut down. Uh, all uh, the villages uh, of the lowland area have been evacuated and all people are living in the shelter homes. Uh, they are not uh, allowed to go outside for the next 24 hours as the uh, cyclone is moving towards the Kutch, uh, Kutch, uh, Kutch and Jakho. Uh, so these kind of steps have been taken and they are just now praying. Uh, yesterday evening also her Sangvi has prayed at the uh, Lord Varkari's temple but today uh, Lord Varkari's temple has been closed because of the uh, cyclone's effect and uh, uh, no one is visiting right now. Uh, the city is empty right now because the advisory has been given that uh, from to today noon to tomorrow uh, evening no one should go outside the home and they have to be in the home only. Uh, so these kind of steps have been taken. Uh, India, uh, Indian Army, Navy and uh, Coast Guards are on the uh, standby mode. Uh, at uh, Okha port uh, there are uh, 15 ships and 7 rescue helicopters have been uh, with the Indian Coast Guard and they are just uh, waiting for the uh, landfall of the uh, cyclone. Okay, so the NDRF, the SDRF, uh, the Coast Guard, everyone on standby. Also, the Indian Army and the Air Force has been kept on standby as well. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh spoke to all three service chiefs as well in preparedness for Cyclone before Joy making landfall. Those are various images, viewers, that we're bringing to you from across the coastal districts of Gujarat, which are likely to face maximum brunt of Cyclone before Joy as it makes landfall landfall this uh, evening. The authorities are on standby at the moment. Our biggest team of reporters is on the ground fearlessly reporting on all the evacuation that has already been done. Close to about 94,000 people have been evacuated from eight coastal districts of Gujarat already. Several makeshift shelters have been built over the past couple of days where they are being kept safe at the moment, there is of course anticipated damage to property. Trees are already uprooted because of uh, the gusty winds uh, which are being experienced in the area and in the region. You can already see the boats which have been left over there because all the fishing folk have been asked to move away. There's been no fishing activity. They've been asked to leave and they've been evacuated to safer places as well. Of course, uh, they worry about their livelihood. but. Of course, life is paramount. Ashutosh is filing this live report from Manvi. Let's listen in. Landfall के बाद उस समय high tide की आशंका है. सबसे बड़ा impact और risk assessment में damage किस तरह के prediction है? जब high tide आएगा, वो 12 बजे का time है. 12 बजे और अगर उस time पे cyclone दोनों mix होते हैं, तो उसका एक impact रहेगा, वो ज़्यादा रहेगा. और वो impact गौरव ऐसा है कि दरअसल जो telecom towers हैं, पूरी संभावना है कि वो गिरेंगे. रिस्क असेसमेंट के लिए सबसे पहले क्यूआरटी लगाई गई थी वो पेड़ जैसे इस समय शहर में दो तो तीन जगहों पर पेड़ गिरे रास्ते बंद हुए तो वहां सबसे पहले क्यूआरटी भेजी गई थी तो रास्ते बंद जाए जगह जगह पर एम्बुलेंस तैनात की गई है कि अगर कहीं मदद चाहिए क्योंकि तो बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो लोहा इलाके से थोड़ा ऊपर पक्के घर में रहते हैं वो वहाँ से नहीं रहती है लेकिन अगर कोई सिग्निफिकेंट डैमेज होता है तो उन तक मदद पहुँचाई जा सके तो रास्तों को कोशिश की जा रही है कि वो बने रहें वहाँ पर जो है किसी तरह की
बंदिश ना हो और आप पेड़ ना गिरे लेकिन कम्युनिकेशन टावर उन्हें सबको रिस्टोर करना मुश्किल इसलिए भी होगा क्योंकि तो अभी शुरुआत स्ट्रॉन्ग की अपने केंद्र पर हुई है परिधि में उसका असर हम देख रहे हैं लेकिन इसकी इंटेंसिटी यानी पूरी तीव्रता जो आएगी वो आठ नौ बजे के बाद आएगी और तब ये तीन चार घंटे की जो साइक्लॉनिक एक्टिविटी होगी उसी समय शहर में यहाँ पर हाई टाइट की भी संभावना है और ऐसे में तब लो लाइन एरिया में जल जमाव भी हो सकता है तो कुल मिला के आप ये समझिए कि मांडवी के लिए अभी बस चुनौतियाँ शुरू हुई हैं इसका पीक आना भी बाकी है जिसमें कई घंटों का समय लगेगा